Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a wildcard certificate using Let's Encrypt binary. So this is these are the steps that we need to take. First, we need to make sure that the right document rule is, is correctly set up. And then we need to run certbot. We need to add TXT records and wait a little, and then continue with the process and reload the web server's configuration files. In this example, we're going to be renewing the wildcard SSL certificates for sites.qsandbox.com. That's a subdomain that we've decided to use rather than installing everything on the main site for multiple reasons. So let's first run the command. So I've made sure that this is correct. I've used an email, an alias email that I can tell it's for this application and and so on so we need two domains one is the regular one and the other one is with wildcard and we need to set the preferred challenge to be dns because that way we're going to be prompted to enter the dns challenge twice because we're it's better to be to do it that way otherwise the wildcard is going to be done using dns and the other one would be to create for you you have to you have to create a, a file manually in the document root folder and wait and it's, it's way easier to do both via dns and we need to set the key we agree about those things and we need to append the logs to this file let's run it and by the way i've installed it for example, using to install it from as a package, I need to do is run install Python certbot Apache, or you can pull the latest version from GitHub. Okay, let's run it. I'm logged in as root. So it's, it's going to challenge us with these. To, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to press enter so I can get the next challenge and I'm going to switch to GoDaddy here in my DNS management and I need to scroll down and click on add I need to add a text record and the host name since this is sites I need to have this thing dot sites if this was the main domain I would only had to enter this part since this is a subdomain I need to do this and to paste that thing and paste the second one I'm gonna save it I need to add one more text it's not an error it seems the specification allows us to have two DNS records, uh, TXT with the same name. And after we're done, we need to delete those just in case. So I want to make sure that all is good. And Y and 8 V, yes, that's correct. And Y, we can hit enter. You might wait 60 just in case. I should hit enter. And it's going to check. And congratulations, everything is done. And the next thing that we need to do is to reload the config and let's not forget to delete those records just in case so make sure you delete the right one thanks for watching and by the way like if you need to get to this article you need to go to qsandbox.com slash 524 and by the way if you're using WordPress Feel free to check out QSandbox. It allows you to set up a free test WordPress site that you can learn and experiment with or work on the new design.